Good morning on Monday the 15th of May, new Bitcoin update. Um, starting with the daily chart, we are bouncing from the green box and this is the scenario I gave you last week. A bit of a bounce and then another leg to the downside. Um, also mainly or also based on what I see in Ether. Yeah, well, let's go first look. Bitcoin could have completed here its ABC, but I do think we are going to make a one, two, three, four, five legs to the downside. It has to be seen where we are ending, but that's <clears throat> because of what I see in uh, Ether. It didn't complete its ABC yet. It has a deeper green box for now also bouncing from uh, green box and also here making that that bounce which I think um, it's, it's short-lived and so we this is the four hour chart we have this kind of move um, either we do something like this take out the CME gap and then do another leg to the upside or we go straight down from here. That is more or less what I'm looking for uh, the coming 24, 48 hours. We are now in a supply zone, or order block, whatever you want to call it. But this move would lead to that demand zone and red box. So I'm actually waiting for a move higher. It's also what I see in Ether. It's red box uh, is, is also a bit higher lining up also with that supply zone so two uh, two possibilities i actually already mentioned it we have the cme gap which is around here twenty six thousand five hundred. Uh, if we come down now then uh, i'd look for a long for this uh, double correction if we head up higher, I will look for a short with the target at least a CME gap. But maybe we are making already that move lower, which I also showed you in Ether. Keep an eye on the dollar. Last week I mentioned it is in a uh, bearish flag where it just completed this leg where I was expecting that would take some time. It already completed that move in uh, in just one day it's now pulling back from that red box if we see somehow a very strong reaction to the downside which is absolutely possible if you look at the higher time frame uh, so it, it, a strong move to the downside that is absolutely bullish for for crypto but I wouldn't be surprised if this keeps on going for a bit the especially the move on Friday was very strong here this is absolutely looking impulsive. So some more strength in Bitcoin might invalidate this bearish flag. And then we also have a bit more of downside in crypto, which I already showed you. Um, as I said, a strong move down here is bullish for crypto, but not really what I'm expecting here. Also based on what I see in, uh, in Bitcoin and Ether, that they need a bit more downside first. Um, focus on the CME gap and uh, let's see tomorrow what uh, where we are.